Hello everyone, this is Suzette for Cloudy Sky today. Take the camera, it's pointed in the right direction. You should be able to see my desktop. So what I'm gonna do, I if you remember my this is the acrylic um butterfly and sunflower. This is the water flower, and also I have you know the printout I had why I did it. I went out and got some mats and well i'll just grab one whoops well both of them come in and frame okay so what i'm gonna do first is open everything because it's gonna be hard to put the frame in so let's open up the frames and uh, i also have some tape and some scissors but i'm gonna get my box cutter Just easier to use a box cutter than scissors. I'm not gonna do it on the thing in case I score the glass, but do it in the back. Much easier. And I like to wear some kind of gloves. In this case, um, I think they're nylon gloves. So that you know, I don't smudge or unnecessarily dirty up the. I'll put my fingerprints all over stuff. Even though I'm doing this for me, I don't want to smudge it. It's not so much a fingerprint. Okay. Okay, and then I'm just gonna sit them up right here. Next, we're gonna open the, I'm gonna put this right here for now. I just put on a little bit of tissue. Okay, again, I'm gonna open it on the back so I don't. I'm gonna do both of them at the same time. Okay. Let's use the scissors for a little bit of help. Use the box cutter. Uh, I like to do it on the reverse so I don't damage the front of the mat. That's what you're going to see. The front of the mat. It's nice that they didn't think about this, but it gets a little bit difficult. So, next on the agenda. And we'll close the knife for safety. So, let's start with the acrylic one. So as you can see, I'm gonna lose the opening is nine by twelve. So I can actually put it on the back. I'm just gonna put a little bit of this linen hinge tape. That's what the scissors is for. Scissors not very sharp. I think I need to get some new scissors. Yeah. Well, I just got standard mats for 9 by 12 opening. Um, the paper is buckling a little bit. For the back, I'm going to take off at least one of the gloves. Yeah, I gotta use my finger now. What little fingernails I got. Okay, there it is. So, the good thing is that this is um, movable. So, we're gonna just. Oh, it's gonna need bottom, but. Let's see how it looks. Okay. The bottom. It's going to need bottom tape. Because of the buckling. Might need side too. Okay. 
with this. Get some more. Yes, I need to get... Okay, let me try and flatten it, make sure it's... Okay, I'm gonna try and use the knife. The, I don't know. I'm not trying to work this, I'm gonna use the scissors. Okay. I don't really like how the tape went on. The good thing about this tape. Okay, we're gonna do this one a little bit different. We're gonna try the exacto knife. Oh, I thought it would have cut it. I guess nothing I have is sharp. Ah. Use this on the side. So my double mat looks like it flung apart. Okay. Let's move some stuff out of the way. Close that. We're gonna play with the frame now. I'm gonna put on my medical nylon gloves so I don't smudge it too much. Looks like I'm already the struggle is real people. Being a sweaty person is not good. <sighs> Okay, so now for the frame. So let's move this to the side. Ooh, my favorite thing to do, open these little things. Quite a few of them. Okay, so the good thing we can see that this would be the top because the hanging software is here. And we're gonna go with the vertical hanging. So what I'm gonna do is just, I don't know what that is in there for, but we're gonna try and take, can get a little bit of help with the exacto knife moving it over yeah so remember what I said this is a frame I'm gonna put this okay something it's catching on something on this side And that's the good thing about using standard sizes. You can find stand, you can find mats, even though nine by twelve was a little bit harder, but you can still find mats that you know reasonable price and a standard frame. And I just use you know the struggle is real, people. I'm trying to make sure these are flush against the thing. Then here comes the other one. Whoops. Okay. Let's see. 
trying to um i guess i don't have these things flush to the side too well okay I only like to put that in to help hold down the, the tape. Okay, let's make sure before we close anything up that we have the top. Okay, we do. Top is where it's supposed to be. And now, all we got to do is drop these things down. Ow! Oh, sometimes it helps to use something as a leverage. There's one more there. If you have pliers, that might work too. I do have some pliers. Because, you know, the weight from the pliers and it feels more safer than the scissors. Because dull scissors. Just a matter of closing up the back. Seem to have more power. Yes. Okay, now this just leaves the bottom. Ta da! So this is done. So my acrylic butterfly and sunflower is done. So that's one. So let's put that to the side. And shall we, before we get started on this one, I want to remember that I'd entered this into a watercolor. So what I like to do, I'm going to include my email. I guess I don't have to tape it to the back, but I could put it inside the frame. So, again, I'm going to put this here. Okay, again, the paper is buckling much. So I'm trying to smooth it out. Of course, here comes everything coming down on me. I'm going to put a little bit of tape this time. Just to see how it's looking. You can see the top of the butterfly better than, but I may have started out on one higher. I mean, I kept drawing it. I didn't um, print it over. I'm going to do the bottom. side too. Okay. Mostly because of the buckling. 
so it's easier to use my hands because this way I can use my nails to separate the linen from the, the linen tape from the paper. And I'm going to include this on this side. I remember if I were have to change the frame. Oh, why did I do watercolor and which was the initial inspiration? What well, um, the watercolor, the butterfly and sunflower. I remember. Oh, I started with the watercolor and then I did uh, acrylic and I did enter it. So there you go. This is on the back. I'm just going to do that. Now it's time for the frame. So, you know what I'm going to do. Because I don't want my smudgy thing on the inside glass of the frame. Put on my gloves. Okay. I like to keep the paper towels so the glass or I could use a screwdriver to get these things up they're kind of annoying I don't know the best way okay I found a flathead I don't know what works best. So if you know what tool to move these things up works best, please let me know because as you can see, I've used scissors, I've used pliers, and now I'm using a flathead screwdriver. Cause man, this thing hurt your nails. Especially when it gets under it. I gotta turn this other tools out of the way. Huh, maybe the screwdriver is the best tool to use. I don't know. Please let me know. If you do any home framing and you buy ready made frames, what do you use? Okay, so again, we got to notice where the top is. In this case, it's right here. Because these two things are what's going to hang by. Unless you want to hang it upside down. Okay. I'm trying to break the glass. Or I'm trying to remove this. Then. Let's square this up. I just want to make sure that the top is. So the top. part is the bottom. These things are a little bit annoying. <sighs> okay. Again. I like to put this in there. Yes, yeah, so it's a 12, and, and then I have a mat. Okay, just double check before I close this stuff up. That I still have the top at the top. I see. Yeah, that's good. <sighs> so, I'll get this below those annoying little things. sitting in there okay there's one that's 
for whatever reason is not flush. Okay. So let's see if the screwdriver is easier to. Looks like it. Okay. Let's do the top. Yeah, because I'm the, you know using a screwdriver for the levers. Let's do the bottom. Okay, this is my butterfly and sunflower watercolor that I've matted. I had a 9 by 12 opening, a 12 by 16 mat, and 12 by 16 frames. So, I hope you enjoy this content, and if you'd like to see more, please like and subscribe and leave a comment. Thank you, and bye. That's math one. My favorite word. Whoops.